Short moments repeated many times. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous. That is the single instruction and simple instruction of, of the balanced view training. So we recognize open intelligence repeated many times in our daily life. Wherever we go, whatever we do, we recognize that open intelligence is at the basis of all that we can perceive, at the basis of all our data. And data are all our thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences. So everything that we can perceive is a data stream arising as, in and through open intelligence. So we wouldn't know any of our data streams without open intelligence. And data wouldn't be there without open intelligence. So we recognize that at the basis of all our data streams is the shining forth of open intelligence. So what is open intelligence? And we can introduce ourselves very simply by stop thinking for a moment. When we just stop thinking for a moment, we recognize that there's something always present, something remains that is always on, something that is alert and present. And that is open intelligence shining forth. So we, we stop thinking for a moment and then we see, oh wow, then the next thought comes in. But we see that presence and alertness never goes anywhere. We might have just not recognized that when we are in our thoughts and emotions, when we're all caught up in our, our um, daily life with all the things that is going on. I mean, there's so much going on every day. You all can know that from your own experience. There are thousands of thoughts, emotions just passing by, like fireworks sometimes. And, and it's just like this display of, of, of data going on. So, but we recognize that open intelligence is always at the basis of it all. And we, can't, we recognize that more and more with taking a short moment, repeating again and again whenever we naturally remember to do so. We bring open intelligence in the foreground of our perception, of that vast perception. Recognizing that again and again. That's the simple instruction that we are introduced here. And then we see that all these short moments just grow longer and longer. We more and more recognize open intelligence is always on, no matter what we perceive, no matter if we feel happy, sad, no matter what data comes up. Open intelligence, always there. The sense of everything is okay. Complete ease and comfortability within it all. Inseparable from anything that occurs for us. And that's what we rely on again and again. And then we see, wow, that nothing about us needs to change. No circumstance, no, no situation that we are in needs to change in order for us to feel completely comfortable, completely at ease within ourselves. That's amazing. We just can be completely comfortable within our own skin and relying on open intelligence. No thought or emotion is something that we need to get rid of or need to change. All my life I try to rearrange all my perceptions to, from like negative data into positive data and try to rearrange circumstances and arrange everything just to feel safe and comfortable within myself. And now I was introduced to this training and see, wow, this, all this efforting and trying to rearrange everything is not needed for me to feel comfortable. And it never really worked, to be honest. I never really could feel comfortable with arranging everything because it never really worked in that way that I wished for. So now in being introduced that I have this simple choice in every moment how I would like to use my mind, how I would like to perceive everything that, that comes up for me. Do I want to focus in on, on, the, on all the data stream or allow them to be as they are? Allow data to be as it is without needing to change it, describe it, trying to rearrange it, just allowing the natural flow of data just passing through. That's the nature of all data. They just appear unpredictably. We never know which data comes next. 
then they hang out for a while, and then they resolve. So we don't need to do anything with, for them to come up, for them to be there, or for them to resolve. We just allow them to completely to be as they are, whatever they do. And from there we open up to that vast intelligence that was hidden from us because we were so focused in on our data stream, that vast intelligence that is inseparable from it all. And we all know when we, like a data stream comes up and when we horn into it and really focus in on it, we just, you know, that's the only thing we see. But what we do when we remain wide open, in open intelligence, we see that data stream clearly, but we see everything around as well. We are not limiting ourselves to that description of a data stream. We are not attacking that data stream, because when that ha what happens when we put all our intelligence and all our focus into one data stream, then it goes wild, then we are just involved in that data stream, then it takes us all around, whatever it wants to do. <coughs> and we, we, we feel helpless, we feel a victim of our data. <coughs> but we see that we've never been a victim of our data. We can completely take responsibility of our data, allowing it to be as it is, not needing to push it away or get rid of it, allowing it completely to be as it is, and then we see clearly from the mountain top, we see everything around, all, uh, around a circumstance or situation, everything clearly. And then we see how do, and then we can discern completely how do we want to act, how we want to relate in that circumstance that is not based on any data. It sees all the data, it includes all the data, but it's not limited by it. And in that we rest deeply. In that we can completely rest, in that we can tr trust completely to rest deeply in that wide open intelligence that we are, that always knows how to be and how to act, that is of most benefit to ourselves and others. It's inherent for us to know that. And we all know that, we can all sense it. We can sense that power that is here, completely. We all know that there's something about us, maybe, that we didn't, like this power that we always felt, but we didn't know how to use and, and, and how we can um, contribute it to the world. Now we know, now we have the complete tool set of the short moments, repeated many times, is one of the, the, tools, the tools that we have. But that's not the only thing, we have the whole um, four mainstays. And the four mainstays is the support structure we offer, which includes the short moments, repeated many times, whenever we naturally remember to do so. We take a short moment. Recognizing open intelligence, recognizing that open intelligence is always on, never goes anywhere. Then we have the trainers, people that, that have, have just taken that instruction upon themselves and tried it out completely and could see the benefits completely within their own direct experience. Who can guide us completely when challenging data come up when repeated data come up. It's such a great opportunity, as you shared. Repeating that if data come up again and again for us, it's never a sign that we are doing something wrong or not taking short moments enough or something is wrong with us. It's actually a sign of p powerful open intelligence and a great opportunity to see all the data that comes up for us from the vantage of open intelligence. It gives us that opportunity to empower ourselves each time a, a reoccurring data came up again and again for me, I could see a little bit more ease. Next time a little bit more ease and wow, and, and that I focused on and I say, wow, it's, it's amazing. So a data stream that would have like completely taken me down before I came to the training, I can feel a little bit ease now with it. And that you focus on completely. It's, it's amazing how we can see that nothing can, can take us down. We can face everything completely, everything. We all have the power completely to face everything and that we can trust. And we take every opportunity to empower ourselves. The reoccurring data streams were, al were always the most, uh, I, I was always the most empowered by. The most empowered, there was so much power within them and just allowing them to be as they are and seeing that I'm not affected by them at all. That they're just 
Also, the beautiful display of open intelligence, nothing else. They come up because they want to rec be recognized as open intelligence, nothing else. They are the shining force of open intelligence, nothing else. So no proof or sign of anything else than open intelligence, potency and power. So that, in that we rest deeply and taking everything as a, such a powerful opportunity to just continuing on and, and empowering ourselves completely. Every opportunity we can get, and we will have many opportunities, I mean, that's guaranteed. And that's great, because the more we allow everything to be as it is, the more we empower ourselves completely. The more we can see the benefits within everything, with, within ourselves and others, and the more we can just contribute this power that we all have for the benefit of all. Allowing ourselves to live a life of the benefit of all includes us completely. I was so afraid of that initially also. I thought oh, if I need to choose a life of benefit, it, it, will, it will be contrary to that what I actually want for myself. But I more and more saw it just completely included me and more and more I just the wish and urge to be of benefit just took over. And so there was a complete shift of, of self-focus in everything that I thought I need to um, accomplish in my life, to feel well and to, to, to feel satisfied in life. All these self-focus just shifted to what will be of most benefit. Such a relief. It's such a relief and it's all I ever wanted. It was all I ever wanted in looking in what I actually wanted for myself. It was the, I wanted to be of benefit, and that's what we are now opening up completely. And it's a natural opening up more and more. We can allow that to um, settle um, slowly also. It's just opening naturally. That was my experience. Just more and more it just opened up to that. Nothing needs to be contrived. We don't need to push ourselves. We need to now to be of benefit and like this hard tension. No, it just comes, it takes over by itself. So nothing to do actually. Just coming back and coming back to that <clears throat> simple instruction of relying on open intelligence again and again. It's all we have to do. Whenever we naturally remember to do so, we take a short moment. When it's difficult to do, we, we immerse ourselves in the um, four mainstays that completely will support us to outshine everything that we can trust. So that, that's just what we need to do. And that openness will just take over. And we just see, wow, what, what, what is our potential in life? We see suddenly so much how we can, what we can do, so many options we see. It's amazing. We have so many options that we can, can do and, and it just opens up. And then through allowing everything to settle, we just know what will be of most benefit. We know and that's then wh where we go. That's where we focus and all our energy into. Seeing everything clearly. It, and we just know what to do. And, th and that we rest deeply.